Hi, welcome back to Shane's Machine Shop. This is my latest engine. It's called the Flame Licker engine. Also goes by the nickname of Nick. Um, this was designed by Bengs out of Germany. This was machined as the drawings were supplied in the kit. Uh, the only thing I did different was on flywheels. I came up with a taper bore and cootie bushings uh, for the flywheels. And I'll talk about those in a video a little bit later. This is a, a vacuum engine. Uh, it's an alcohol tank that you have to build. creates heat. Uh, as the little gate opens, it sucks the flames in. Flame in. Uh, when the flame gets to the back of the cylinder, the gate's closed. Uh, cools off and creates vacuum and pulls the piston forward and then expels the, the gases out of a little valve. There's a little ball valve in here. And then the gate opens up and it sucks the flames back in and repeats the stroke. Um, there's, as I said, there's a little ball valve in here and as it, this comes forward, it, there's a popping sound uh, when the engine is running. Let me show you some different views of this. This was quite fun to build, but then again, everything's fun to build. As I've said before, machining is never work. It's always fun. Let me show you the stroke of it. You can see the valve opening, pulling the piston. There'll be a video of the engine running after this. Hi, this is a short video of my miniature cutie bushing that I came up with for the flywheels on my flame liquor engine. I machined a bore in the flywheels. I just used a number six reamer. I don't have any way to machine a taper on my lathe. Uh, reamed it to a certain distance from the flutes on the reamer. And then I machined the QD machined it straight with a six millimeter bore which is the shaft and then hand filed the od to fit the taper bore with about an eighth inch standoff i was looking for something to lock this the flywheels on my engine with without using a standard set screw so i came up with this design did an autocad drawing of it and make a do a picture of it after the video here anyway I used 256 screws half inch socket head cap screws with 256 so it goes on like this slide it onto where you want positioned on your shaft and then just tighten the screws It's got a split in it. It's right here. So I split the QD so that it, as the flywheel slides up onto the QD, it'll lock it to the shaft. And just tighten everything up. I bought a little run out. Looks like it's run out a little bit. Still a little bit. I 
And once you get it tight, it's locked on the shaft. So it came out pretty good. So let me try it comes off. So you just loosen all the screws. Just move the screws to the threaded holes on the QD. Made a little jig. I'll show you when I get done here. So I could lay the holes out on the QD and the flywheels. QD stands for Quick Detachable. Just tighten them up a little bit. Yep. And it slides off the shaft. Really pleased how this thing came out. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Hi, welcome back. This is my flame liquor Nick.
can hear the popping from that valve, the ball valve. They're starting to speed up. Hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.